Hello family, God bless you all. Um, I've, I've not been feeling too well lately. I've, I think I've got a, a urine infection, I've got a bad back and uh, so please pray for me because I'm, I'm feeling quite weary to be honest. But today has been a good day um, so far. We've had uh, Lisa gave her life to the Lord. Then Thomas, Thomas gave his life to the Lord off camera. Uh, he was overwhelmed with the love that we get sh sh shared with him. And uh, and then another Christian came up to us, a Christian who's already uh, born again, um, Barry. Um, he, he's he's he had a lifestyle like me of, of uh, drugs, um, and that that's, that's the kind of people who you know come to the Lord or to come to the end end of themselves who uh, they try to fill their lives with with something because they've got the emptiness in their in their heart which only really God can fill fill so people try to fill it with alcohol and drugs and um, but anyway so with two people have been born again so uh, which is uh, excellent brilliant and then there's all the people who have received the tracks from Philip and um, probably can sense that something's not right in the world and probably we don't know how many people give their lives to the Lord but anyway enough of me <laughs> waffling on here we go I'm gonna start preaching again so but, yeah please pray for me because I, I, I think my, my, my health is under attack and Satan is just trying to stop us from but if you can if you can knock me out um, then the, the whole thing just goes, you know, because I'm, I'm the one who does the preaching. Uh, Philip's excellent at um, doing the evangelizing and, and, and uh, he's just so eager and full of, full of the joy of the Holy Ghost, which is it's good for me. It's, it's good for me, especially in this late hour. So anyway, here we go. I turned it on. It is on. God bless you, Darlington. We have come here to tell you how much God loves you and how easy it is to be saved and know you're going to heaven and not going down to hell. The Bible makes it very clear that we all have sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God and that the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is everlasting, eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, Jesus, that whosoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life. The only requirement for us to be saved and know we're going to heaven is to believe in our hearts the gospel, which is that Jesus shed his blood on the cross for the forgiveness of our past, present and future sins. He was buried and on the third day he rose again from the dead. And if you will confess Jesus as Lord, say yes I believe Lord Jesus, come into my life Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That, that is how, how simple, simple it is, is. to be saved and know you're going to heaven and not hell. Because this life isn't all there is. Above us is the heavens. Below us is, the, is hell, out of darkness, where there's weeping and wailing, gnashing of teeth, where the worms never die and the fire never goes out. And Jesus said, unless you repent, unless you change your minds, you will all perish. Repent means to acknowledge our sin condition and then believe, change our minds from unbelief and believe on the one who paid the debt in full on the cross for all our sins. All means all, past, present and future sins. Believe in your heart that God raised Jesus to life on the third day and you will be saved. 
It's the only requirement for you to be saved, sealed, sanctified, heaven bound and rapture ready. Because any moment now, and the Lord Jesus Christ is going to descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will be resurrected. The dead in Christ will rise first, and then all Christians which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus and then starts what the Bible calls is the great tribulation Jesus described it as a time so terrible there's never been a time like it and there never will be again and if God didn't shorten the days of the great tribulation then no man would survive lay hold of your salvation because if Jesus is coming, be part of the rapture when Jesus takes all Christians out of this world up into heaven. Lay hold of your salvation. Jesus said, unless you repent, you will all perish. Unless you change your minds from your unbelief and believe on Jesus, the Son of God, and his sacrifice for us on the cross, that you will indeed perish. Please don't take the gamble that Jesus is not who he says he is. He says, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. And no man shall see the Father in heaven but through me. Jesus said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. He shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief, Satan, the God of this age, comes only to steal, kill and destroy. The devil is trying to distract mankind from laying hold of their salvation. The devil wants to distract you away from going to Jesus and laying hold of your salvation. The devil, Satan, is distracting the whole world, whispering in the ears of mankind and whispering in your ear and saying, is God really real? Is Jesus really the only way I can make it to heaven and escape the damnation of hell? But the devil, the God of this age, Satan, comes only to steal and to kill and to destroy. And Jesus Christ has come that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly, even everlasting life. Jesus Christ is the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Lay hold of your salvation. Believe on the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation for anyone and everyone that believes. Jesus said, if any man is ashamed of me and of my words, in the sinful and adulterous generation of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes in the power of his Father with the holy angels. Don't be ashamed of Jesus Christ. Don't be ashamed or afraid to call upon Jesus for whosoever whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. Be a whosoever. Don't take the gamble that this life is all there is. Don't take the gamble that heaven and hell are not real because they are. And your decision to accept or reject Jesus will determine which one you spend eternity in. Nobody's guaranteed their next breath. Nobody's guaranteed to be here tomorrow. When you draw your last breath, you will go into eternity, first to the judgment seat of God, and without Jesus Christ to pay the debt in full for all your sins, you will not make it into heaven, for you will find yourself in hell. Please, change your minds. Jesus said, unless you change your minds and repent, you will all perish. That means you will find yourself in hell if you do not believe on Jesus Christ and what he did for us on the cross. The Bible says there is no forgiveness of sins without the shedding of blood. So Jesus shed his blood on the cross for our past, present, future sins. He was buried and rose again on the third day. Believe that in your heart. Call upon Jesus and you will be saved.
be very careful of. Yeah. You have to be very careful of these creatures because there's a lot of wolves. I'm not picking on anyone specifically. Yeah. There's a lot of wolves in shit's clothes. What the yeah. devil has done is blinded people into not knowing that Jesus is about to come. He's done a good job of that. So then people start like five and five wise virgins, five, five yeah. unwise virgins. You need to be looking up at that blessed hope. You see, and, and to be fair, with, even if you disagree with that, that, that it's about to come. Bless you, sir. Even yeah. every day that like Jesus could come is a blessing. God bless right. you, indeed. I don't yeah. disagree. We've come here, darling, to tell you how much God loves you. How easy it is to be saved and know you're going to heaven and not going down to hell. By believing the gospel of Jesus Christ. For there is no other name under heaven given to us by which we can be saved. Jesus said, I am the way. God bless you, madam. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. And no man shall see the Father in heaven but through me. Go to Jesus. He has promised. He said, I will never turn anyone away who comes to me in truth. Go to Jesus. Lay hold of your salvation. Be sure of your eternal destination. Heaven or hell. And the choice is yours. You have a choice to accept or reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Bible makes it expressly clear that we all have sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God and that the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. Jesus shed his blood on the cross for the forgiveness of our past, present and future sins. For all our sins, he was buried and rose again on the third day. And when you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. It's the only requirement for you to be saved and enter into heaven and escape the damnation of hell. God made it so simple that a two-year-old child could understand it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, that whosoever believes in him should not perish in hell, but have everlasting life and granted a place in heaven. There is a devil, Satan, who's trying to distract the whole world. He's whispering in the ears of mankind. The devil, Satan, comes only to steal and to kill and to destroy. But Jesus Christ has come that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly, even everlasting life. Lay hold of your salvation. God loves you. He's not asking you to get religious. He's only going to ask you that you believe on the name of his only begotten son, Jesus, and his sacrifice for us on the cross. Jesus said, if any man is ashamed of me and of my words in the sinful and adulterous generation of him, shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes in the power of his Father with the holy angels. Any moment now, and the Lord Jesus Christ shall tear open the heavens, and he shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will be resurrected. The dead in Christ will rise first, and then all Christians which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus. And then this world, according to the prophet Isaiah, will be turned upside down. Then sudden destruction shall come upon this world. The great tribulation shall begin. And this one world leader will come on the world stage, proclaiming himself to be the saviour of the world. He will form a new world order, and he will cause everyone, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, the mark of the beast. Without the mark in your right hand or in your forehead, you will not be able to buy or sell anything. But once you take the mark of the beast, you will be cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death. God forbid that this happens to any of you. It doesn't have to happen. Lay hold of your salvation now, and you won't even have to be here for what is about to erupt on this world. 
great tribulation. Believe on the Lord Jesus. Lay hold of your salvation now and you will be taken up to heaven in the rapture. The only requirements for you to be saved, heaven bound, saved from going down to hell, is to believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. How that Jesus died on the cross for all our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures. If you will confess Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart man believes and is justified, just as if he never sinned. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. Fear whosoever, call upon Jesus, lay hold of your salvation before it's too late, before you witness this great punishment of all Christians in the rapture, when Jesus takes all Christians up into heaven, out of harm's way, before the great tribulation starts. Jesus has promised that he will never turn anyone away who goes to him in truth. No matter what you're doing, no matter what you have done, Jesus will abundantly pardon and receive you. Lay hold of your salvation. God bless you. Bye-bye. Please pray for uh, Elizabeth, she's 16 years of age, she's got really bad anorexia and I think she's really bad health, so um, just the, the elderly couple just spoke to. Please pray for her, for healing, deliverance, whatever you feel led to pray for her for. Thank you. God bless you, Darlington. Me and brother Philip have come here to tell you how much God loves you and how simple it is to know you're saved and going to heaven and not going down to hell. The Bible is very clear and says that we all have sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God and that the wages of sin is death, the destruction of the soul in hell for eternity, but the free gift of God. The free gift of God, which God wants to give everyone, is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And it's not about being religious. It's not about doing anything apart from believing on the one who did it all for us on the cross. Jesus shed his blood on the cross for the forgiveness of our past, present and future sins. He was buried and rose again from the dead on the third day. If you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. It's the only requirement for you to be saved, heaven bound and rapture ready. Because the rapture of the church is about to take place at any moment. The rapture is upon us at any moment when Jesus Christ himself descends from heaven and gathers up into heaven all who have believed on him, all who have ever believed on him. Jesus is going to take all Christians up into heaven, out of harm's way, and then starts the great tribulation when this world will be turned upside down. Jesus said it would be a time so terrible that there's never been a time like it and there never will be again. And you don't have to be here for what is coming upon this world. And God isn't asking you to get religious. He's only asking that you believe, believe in your heart the gospel. Because the Bible says we all have sinned and the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. So the only requirement for you to be saved, heaven bound, saved from going down to hell, given a one way ticket to heaven, is to believe the gospel, which is that Jesus paid the debt in full on the cross for all our sins, past, present and future. He was buried and rose again on the third day. 
Jesus shed his blood for all our sins. He rose from the dead on the third day. And if you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. Your name shall be written in heaven. Your name shall be written in the Lamb's book of life. And you will escape the damnation of hell. Because this life is not all there is. It's very shallow-minded to think that this life is all there is. There is a heaven and there is a hell. And your decision to accept or reject Jesus Christ will determine which one you spend eternity in. This life is so short. You're not guaranteed your next breath. Nobody's guaranteed to be here tomorrow. Nobody's guaranteed to wake up tomorrow. But when you draw your last breath, you will go into eternity. First to the judgment seat of God. And without Jesus Christ, you will not make it into heaven. But you will find yourself in hell. And God is not willing that any should perish in hell. And God did not send his son Jesus into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Jesus might be saved. Jesus said, if any man is ashamed of me and of my words, but the Son of Man shall be ashamed of that man when he comes in the power of his Father with the holy angels. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, Jesus, that whosoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life. But Jesus said, unless you change your minds and repent, you will all perish. God is not willing that you spend eternity in hell. Hell is a place of outer darkness, where there is weeping and wailing, where there is gnashing of teeth, where the worms never die, where the fire never goes out. Lay hold of your salvation. God loves you, but he's given you a choice. He's given you free will to either accept or reject his free gift, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Because we have all broken God's commandments, we have all sinned, and the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus has promised that he will never turn anyone away who goes to him. So go to Jesus, lay hold of your salvation. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved and your house. For there is no other name under heaven given to us by which we can be saved. Jesus said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. Be it any man. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid to go to Jesus. Because he has promised he will not turn you away if you go to him in truth. But he also said, unless you repent, you will all perish. Don't wait until you're in hell before you realize how real it is. It will be too late then. God gives us a chance in this life to accept or reject his free gift, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. And the only requirement for you to be saved and know you're going to heaven and not going down to hell is to believe the gospel that Jesus paid the debt in full. He shed his blood on the cross for the forgiveness of our past, present, and future sins. He was buried and rose again from the dead on the third day. When you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. For with the heart, man believes unto righteousness and is justified, just as if he never sinned. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation that if you with your mouth shall confess the Lord Jesus, say, yes, I believe, Lord Jesus, come into my life, Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's how simple it is. God made it so simple for everyone to be saved. He made it so simple to know how to make it to heaven and escape the damnation of hell. He made it simple enough for a two-year-old child to understand. But God resists the proud, but he gives more grace to the humble. Be humble enough to, to acknowledge and say, yes, of course I have sinned. We've all sinned. We've all lied. We've all broken God's commandments. 
be humble enough to acknowledge that and then go to Jesus Christ. Believe on his death, his burial, his resurrection. Jesus' final words on the cross were, it is finished. The debt is paid in full, past, present and future sins. His blood washes away all our sins. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and you will be saved. It doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter what you have done, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. Because there is no other name under heaven given amongst men by which we can be saved. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. And no man shall see heaven but through me. No man shall see heaven but through Jesus. The only other alternative is hell. You don't want to go down there. It's for eternity. Lay hold of your salvation. Jesus said, unless you change your minds and repent, you will all perish. Unless you believe on the Lord Jesus and receive his free gift, which is everlasting life, you will find yourself in hell. Why wait until you're in hell before you realize how real it is? Because it will be too late then. Lay hold of your salvation now. Jesus has promised that he will not turn anyone away who comes to him. So go to Jesus. He's the only way, the only truth, and the only life. Believe on his death, his burial, and his resurrection. Call upon him, and you will be saved. God will save you with everlasting life. He will seal you with his Holy Spirit of promise and he will sanctify you, set you apart as holy until the day of redemption, which is upon us at any moment now, any moment now, because we are in the final moment of the end of this age. The dispensation of grace is about to end. Lay hold of your salvation, because Jesus is coming any moment now, and the Lord Jesus shall tear open the heavens, and he shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will be resurrected. The dead in Christ will rise first, and then all Christians which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus and then this world will be turned upside down. This world is bad enough as it is but when the tribulation starts it will be horrific. It will be terrible. Jesus said it will be a time so terrible though there's never been a time like it and there never will be again. And if God didn't shorten the days of the tribulation then no flesh would survive. Lay hold of your salvation now. Believe on Jesus and you will be taken up in the rapture which is about to happen at any moment. Please. Jesus said, unless you repent, you will all perish. Unless you change your minds and believe on Jesus and his death, burial, resurrection. Unless you believe on Jesus, you will perish. God bless you all. We haven't come here to judge you. We haven't come here to condemn you. We've come here to tell you how simple it is to know you're going to heaven and not going down to hell. By believing the gospel of Jesus Christ. God bless you, sir. Thank you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, that whosoever believes on him should not perish in hell, but have everlasting life and grow to the place in heaven. It's not about religion. It's not about anything we must do apart from believing on the one who's done everything. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who was sacrificed, who shed his blood for the remission of our past, present and future sins. He was buried and rose again on the third day. Believe that in your heart. Call upon Jesus and you will be saved. God will seal you and you will never lose your salvation. Lay hold of your salvation now. You have a choice. You have free will to decide where you are spending eternity, heaven or hell. Because this life is not all there is. There is a heaven and there is a hell. 
and your decision to accept or reject Jesus Christ will determine where you spend eternity, heaven or hell. The choice is yours. Please make the right choice. Choose to believe on the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Because there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we can be saved. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. Go to Jesus because he has promised that he will never turn anyone away who goes to him in truth. The hour is extremely late. The night is far spent. And the day of Jesus Christ is at hand. Any moment, moment, moment now. No, no, All no, Christians no, are watching no, and waiting no, for our no, blessed hope no, and no, glorious no, appearing no, of the great no, God no, and our no, Saviour, no, Jesus Christ, who is about no, to descend no, and gather no, all no, Christians no, out of this world no, into no, the heavens no, 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 before the great tribulation starts, before this 